Hey guys, so I was just sitting here watching Star Trek, as you can kind of see on the TV over there, and I had this idea, I've, I've actually been trying to do this, I've tried to do this a few times, but it didn't work out the way I wanted to do it, so I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to do a cover song. I've done a cover in a while. The last song I covered was Impure by Vader on my other channel. It didn't work out so well, but I didn't have this magic little microphone. It's not going to be the best quality, but it's going to be definitely better than the last one. You'll be able to hear the music, hopefully, depending on how loud my computer plays the song. Um, the way I tried to do it was with some fancy editing and stuff. It didn't work. The key video came out so laggy, I couldn't even, like, watch it, like, on my own computer. And with the saved file, it was so laggy, because the rendering process just rendered it so laggy. But, no big deal. So you're probably wondering... What song I'm going to cover? No, you're probably not because it says in the description below. Or above. Not description. Well, it says in the description. It'll probably say in the description too, but it says it in the title as well. And, um. I figured it's time to cover something brutal. Something that I love. And, in celebration of the fact that I just ordered Devourment's 1.3.8 album which is awesome because it's been really hard to find. I found it for $10, and the cheapest I've ever seen before was 75 and I'm happy with that because that is a good album, and I'm getting... I've ordered it, the original album. Should be here sometime in between a week and two weeks. I'm excited about that, though. Very excited. A rare piece to my collection. And... To my knowledge, it's never been uh, repressed either, or reprinted, because uh, I think that's why it's so expensive. But, um, I am going to cover Devourment's Baby Killer. Fuck yeah. I did. This video will also include what I'm about to do right now. I, I know this is a little late, but I received this three days before the official release date. I should be wearing my Devourment shirt, but, because I got the shirt with this, but fuck it. This is a great album. I would really suggest getting it. Devourment Conceived in Sewage. It's like fantastic. I've listened to it repeatedly since I've gotten it. I think it's a fantastic album. I'm not quite sure what my favorite song is. I love the song Conceived in Sewage, to be honest. I also like Carved into Ecstasy and uh, uh, Today We Die, Tomorrow We Kill. They're all great songs. This album is solid. Not as much slamming as their previous albums. I read somewhere, and I, I, I kind of agree with this, it's a great album. It's a fantastic album. Definitely brutal, definitely a great brutal death metal album. Honestly, I think it's a must-have if you like brutal death metal. But it's not quite a must-have if you like slam metal. Slamming brutal, you know. Because I read this on Facebook, on one of my Facebook pages, or not on one of my Facebook pages, but on a friend's Facebook page. And, uh, someone, he was talking about the new album, and someone commented saying, it was the, uh, it was a fantastic Devourment album. It was a great album released by them, but it was their worst album. Simply because it's not the same. It's not the same as all their other music. And I think that's a great way of describing it. It's still a fantastic album. It's progressing. They're definitely a different band than they were whenever they started. I'm not quite sure when Devourment started. They're definitely a different band now. They went from slamming brutal death metal, almost grindy to straight brutal death metal suffocation style you know they do remind me a lot of suffocation at some points not entirely just occasionally they're a little bit more fast paced and it's a fantastic album but if you're looking for slam metal it's not an album I would suggest if you're looking for brutal death metal or you just love death metal in general this is a really 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 good album I would definitely suggest getting it And I'll just set this right here. Um, let me let me see. Overall, I'd rate it out a nine out of ten. That's my total deduction. Now, if you want me to give a specific rating in the deduction of a uh, slam metal album, it slams occasionally, but other than that, it's you know five out of ten slam metal style. Death metal overall, brutal death metal included. 9 out of 10 to 9.5 out of 10, somewhere in that range, depending on the song, really. Because there's some songs on here, th there's at least one or two, that are just kind of, you know, 
Uh, you bang your head, bang your head. Uh, it's okay. Uh, but the rest are like, duh, 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 duh. you know, you just want to slam your head to it. Now, my plan is to cover Devourment's Baby Killer. They're one of their originals off the 1.3.8 album. I'm doing the original 1.3.8 version, not the one that was on, um, what's that album? It's like Unleash the Beast or something like that. Unleashing the Beast, I don't know, something like that. But, yeah, I'm not doing that one. I'm doing the uh, 1.3.8 version. And I think it's going to go quite well. So, let's throw on the uh, song. Let me just get ready here. Put out my cigarette. Get a quick drink of Monster. Alright, guys. Ready? Oh, my God. 
you guys like that that was i messed up a couple times i i i mean i didn't really you know i just kind of did that on the whim i didn't rehearse i mean i rehearsed a couple days ago but i didn't really rehearse a lot today and uh i didn't rehearse at all today um great song i messed up a few times i i jumped ahead of myself once and i had to like just do a long ass note to keep it going and then jump it back into where I was at. But overall, I did okay. Not not bad. You can expect more cover songs. Um, sometime in the future, I enjoy doing them. Uh, I just don't do them a whole lot, but I think I'll do them more often now. Um, I'll put that mic over here. Um, so overall, yeah. Um. I don't know where else to go with this video. Maybe I'll give you some personal news. Uh, I'm getting two albums besides Devourment. They're coming in the mail. I'm getting a Cycroptics, Ancient Scepter, uh, Ancient Scepter album. Yeah. Happy about that. I'm also getting, I can oh, Aeon, um, Aeon's album, uh, Bleeding the, uh, fuck, I can't think of the album. It's got, uh, I Hate Your Existence on it and a couple other songs. I'm having memory issues tonight, but overall, that's what's up. Um, all right, guys, remember to check out this album. If you don't want to get it, at least check it out if you love death metal. If you like Slam, it's not a must-listen to, but I would suggest it if you still like death metal. If you like Brutal Death, must-listen to. Death metal, pretty much must-listen to. Uh... I'm that metal guy. Stay metal.